Yasu, didn't hear you come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask That Guy with the Glasses. What is the difference between Jonathan Taylor Thomas and Haley Joel Osmond? That's a very good question. Haley Joel Osmond is a midget, and Jonathan Taylor Thomas is a dwarf. I know that many people confuse them for children, but they're not. They're little people, with little talent, except for Haley Joel Osmond and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. They both have talent. Where am I? What on earth was man trying to do when he discovered that cows made milk? Oh, no, 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 it's not at all what you think. The guy was trying to suck on the cow's tit because he thought it gave him an erection. I don't know what your mind was thinking. If you mixed Coca-Cola with Pepsi, what will happen? Diarrhea. A telemarketer keeps calling my house at 6.30 in the morning and will not stop. What should I do? That's not a telemarketer. That's me. And I'm sorry if I keep bugging you to take a survey. It just really arouses me. Can I help that? Yes. I found out my friends intentionally did not invite me to a party. What do I do? Well, I suggest you call up your friend and ask him why. There's nothing like a reasonable conversation to figure out a reasonable conclusion. It is the only way people learn from one another. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Castrate him. In the last episode, you said that you read hydroglyphics. Did you mean hieroglyphics? Actually, no. I meant hydroglyphics. It is the reading of shapes and symbols through water. Now I know what you're thinking. That dictionary I was reading wasn't underwater. But the pages were years and years ago. And only through water can the shapes and symbols appear. This was a form of language that was created thousands of years ago in New Amsterdam. Because it's only in New Amsterdam that you can create such an absurd notion. Now I know what you're thinking. You must be lying, that guy with the glasses. Well, I'm not. This is that guy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a stupid question until you ask it.